two. However, not that far off in weight. Only about eight pounds separates them. And we're about ready to get things underway here. Who's number one? The main event, the heavyweight title bout in the black and white. Gordon, the King Ryan in the all black with the blue anchor band, Pedro Mourinho. Oh, immediately aggressive wrestling from the shorter, stockier Gracie Baja black belt. Yeah, Pedro definitely thrives on the feet. Not only is he really amazing with his takedowns, he does a great job getting to two on ones. Um, but as we know, he is a big fan of the guillotine attacks. Difficult though to do with someone that's quite a bit taller than you um, on the feet here. To get that head all the way down underneath the armpit. So typically they come off of uh, opposite shots or you know, defending those kinds of positions. Now I mentioned this a little earlier in our kind of a show open where we analyze the matches briefly. Uh, Pedro Mourinho, shorter, stockier, very athletic, explosive, good wrestler, in and out, strategically very smart, experienced, great guillotine, great front headlock choke. All of those qualities also apply to Gordon Ryan's future opponent, Andre Galvao, the ADCC Superfight Champion, and they're scheduled to meet in September. So many people think, you know what? This match here tonight could look a little like what Gordon Ryan's game plan may be for that match in September. Yeah, we see more than a few ADCC athletes kind of workshopping those techniques. A lot of wrestling Circle. and a lot of emphasis on the top game, which is also sort of like the Nogi meta at, at the moment, right? Eddie Bravo talked about that, how the game is now all about passing these days. And body life passing specifically is what he said. But that said though, Chase, mm -hmm. you mentioned this earlier that the rules change everything because here at who's number one, submission only. That's right, that's right. And you know, I think uh, in the beginning, it's a bit of a warm up, right? We mentioned that Gordon doesn't even really like to warm up before his matches. He uses those opening minutes. It's one of the reasons that he thrives in these 30 minute matches is that he knows he can take five, 10 minutes to get loose, get the juices flowing, and then start to commit to his, his actual strategies here. What I'm loving here though, is the really aggressive hand fighting that we're seeing from Gordon Ryan. A lot of times people don't stay on the feet. This like, we don't see Gordon on the feet this long with many people. He's like pawing on the head, bringing his hand to the face, pushing his face to the side, getting really, uh, really aggressive here. But another thing to know is that that is Pedro's favorite place to be. He wants that game. He likes that game. He likes to bring it right back. So it's uh, it's nice to see both of them getting oh, their element. Oh, wrist lock attempt. You see yeah, that? <laughs> that was spicy. <laughs> I mean, that's Pedro all all, uh, all over, right? Yeah, he, yeah. he is pretty chippy when out there in the match, you know? <laughs> yeah. He's a lovely guy when you talk to him, but as a competitor, man, I, I, I'm not sure I want to get hands on that guy. He's pretty feisty. No, and I love that he's not afraid of Gordon, right? Some people are oh, intimidated yeah. a little bit. He's going right after Gordon here engaging in his hand fighting. Yeah. And I'd like to point out, by the way, that despite the obvious height difference, they're really not that far apart in weight. No. Gordon weighed in just seven pounds over Pedro, and I saw the day on Instagram, he weighed 217, so <laughs> just two pounds. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't look like it, but that's what, the weights don't lie. I mean, Pedro is definitely shorter, a lot shorter, but he's so thick, so strong, so powerful. And we've seen him use those attributes of, against some of the very best black belts in the world. Yeah, he's definitely come up in weight for this too, and I think it's it's um, it's interesting to know. I remember talking about this in the in the po in the pre-show that they fought in ADCC in 2019, right? And and Peter lost, and he after the match, I think he posted on Instagram. It said something along the lines of every great champion believes that they just needed a, one more shot to win. Like, they, if they just gave him one more shot, like, they could have won that match anytime they come off of a loss. And I think that says a lot of the, about the way that you just said a minute ago. Nice single leg pickup here from Pedro. Is that Pedro's not afraid, clearly. I mean, he's coming forward into this match. He's not afraid of Gordon Ryan. He doesn't get scared of the name. He doesn't just view it as like, oh, this is a great opportunity, opportunity for me to get this match. It's no, I'm going to win. Right. You know, the opportunity is definitely something that he doesn't want to give up. But the real opportunity is what comes with victory. So he's coming in here with the self-confidence and the belief that he can win this match. And honestly, we've talked about this a lot. It's a very short list of people who are even willing to face Gordon Ryan, let alone go Actually in there believe with that, that mentality they can, that they right. can believe, beat him. Yeah. No, most people don't. They, they just go in for the mat time, right, almost, or for the paycheck. But Pedro knows he can. Pedro goes in with the knowing that he can win. It's really impressive. And you can see that in the way that he's approaching it. He had a little bit of frustration on his face there when he lost the single, um, but then right back into this game plan here. You know, just some of the names that Pedro Mourinho has beaten in Nogi competition include Victor Stop. Hugo, Nogi world champion, Roberto Cyborg Abreu, former ADCC champion, world Nogi Wait. champion. 
Wagner Hosha, one of the best veterans in the no gi game. So he's been in against some of the very best black belts in the world, but he's never been in with Gordon Ryan. No, that's, that's, that's the challenge. ultimate test right now, right? right. But so far doing well. And I think, you know, it was mentioned a little bit right when we started this match here, I think, but uh, there isn't the puncher's chance typically in grappling matches, right? There's too much uh, emphasis on control and, and dominating positionally, but Pedro has that with his guillotine. I think that's the one exception mm -hmm. to the puncher's chance rule in grappling is that that exists with that, and Pedro has it on both sides. Gordon pointed out that right. Pedro's ambidextrous with that submission. He can do it equally so. You can see Gordon's paying close he, attention not to drop his head too low. Yeah, he is an absolute savage with that guillotine choke. I mean, he just aims to decapitate his opponents, you know, and uh, he slaps them so quickly as well. But the problem is, as you mentioned, Ken, against a, an opponent so much taller than that, you've either got to risk everything by jumping into that hmm. guillotine attack, which is high risk, uh, high reward, but against Gordon Ryan, uh, uh, maybe risk. a kind of a <laughs> risk you're just not yeah. willing to take. Yeah. Right. Uh, or he's got to try and bring Gordon down to his level. And so or far, Gordon's hand fighting and, and stand-up wrestling, he's feeling Gordon, they're feeling each other out, but there haven't been too many openings so far for Pedro. Well, it's interesting, Gordon is, uh He's playing a really smart game here because his hand fighting is aggressive. So it's not that he's not being active. His hand fighting is aggressive. You can see him snapping the head right here, but he hasn't shot one time. Right. So he's not shooting and exposing his head. I think that would be the ag absolute opposite of what you would ever want to do with Pedro Mourinho yeah, is shoot exactly. in and expose your head. That's like the number one thing you do not do with him. So, so how do you take down a guy like Pedro Mourinho? Right. Well, I mean, now you're looking at snaps of your own, right? You can look at snatch singles, right? Like, kind of like what Pedro shot on Gordon. You can look at snatch singles. You can look at snaps of your own. You can see some heavy pressure. Um, some foot oh, to the back. beautiful we work saw. there. Interesting that Giancarlo used that exact same takedown wow. on J-Rod earlier. Look at Pedro. A little bit of a look at the guillotine here. Oh, you see now that is the, the speed, the quickness of Pedro Mourinho. We talked a lot about his athleticism and his explosiveness. Beautiful, subtle misdirection there from Gordon Ryan in throwing by and getting to the back position. But then the recovery from Pedro Mourinho and the brief threat of the guillotine choke. But now in this position right here, this is, let's call it what it is, a compromised position for Pedro Mourinho. You do not want Gordon Ryan putting his weight on top of you from this or looking for your back in this position either. Yeah, well, Pedro was able to do a beautiful job avoiding the leg drag. Gordon tried to drive his leg over and he spun underneath, Stop. but now we're here and this is going to be a really nice uh, passing opportunity for Gordon. Yeah, this is a said. textbook kind of knee cut position here for Gordon Ryan. Right on the edge of the mat, our referee Gabriel Martinez takes him back into the center and will restart them in the same position. Now, do you think it's no small task that Pedro will try and just Fight. frame away and get back to his feet at all costs? Gordon probably won't allow that, but... No. Gordon is a master at yeah. smothering his opponents from this position. The pressure that he is able to create, he just goes full wet blanket on them. And they drown under that pressure. You see guys just physically wilt and break. And of course he's big, of course he's heavy, yes. But it's the positioning that's key. And the way that he positions himself on his opponents just puts so much pressure in all the right focused points. Pressure points, if you will. <laughs> You're saying he's a pressure point master. Don't sleep on the pressure points. <laughs> okay, okay. If you see Pedro continue to underhook this leg with his right hand, he, he almost trying to drag or to, to bring that leg over the top of the body. But with Gordon's right elbow connected to his body like that, it just doesn't leave any room for his hips to start to elevate. Oh, is that a buggy choke? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the laughing in the crowd. That would be quite something. This is the kind of thing that we don't really see from Pedro Mourinho, right? He's not known as a bottom player. He's not known for his guard. He's known for being a top player, his, his great wrestling, as we mentioned, his, his choke attacks. We rarely see him on bottom in this position. He's usually so physically dominant, he plays from top, but Gordon Ryan is just slowly working his way into a better and better control position and that underhook cross face. There's the pressure coming on strong and Gordon has achieved what Isaac was looking to do for the course of an hour and a half, which is really isolate the arm, put this pressure in to the mount. And he's got those elbows or the one elbow way away from his torso. Do you see Gordon rubbing Pedro's head there? He a did. little sun in him moment. Now he's talking to us. He's having a good time out there. He didn't mind waiting. Oh, 
way that Gordon is just able to separate the elbow away from the body. Similar to what we watched Mark Ali do earlier too, where he Absolutely. tries to bring both of the elbows above the head. He has his right secure with his right, or he has Peter's left arm with Gordon's right secure. It is a miserable position yeah. to get caught in. You know, the pressure alone throughout the shoulder joint, it just, it's, it's really tough. And it, it shuts down so many of your escapes. I also think it's sometimes hard to see just how much pressure is on the diaphragm here. <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. From we saw Jacob Couch a few weeks ago, or I mean a few months ago, ADCC Toronto, a week after that match, and he was really banged up from this. Judges favor red. Well, I don't think that's a surprise given the takedown and the top control. Gordon Ryan just very calmly puts himself back into the half guard here, actually. That makes me really curious about what's in the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because you know that he comes in and he doesn't just have an idea, I want to submit my guy. He's like, I'm going to submit him with this technique on this side at this time in the match. Mm -hmm. That's how precise he gets. Pedro's hips off the mat. Is Gordon calling you out, Kendall? A little bit. He said it's my fault for betting against him. But man, Pedro's my guy. What do you want me to do? This is a little look at the backstage of uh, Isaac Michelle and Kyle Chambers. They are still going. If the match ends before the end of, uh, of this match, we will report on the results. But they may kick us out of go. here. They're still going. <laughs> yeah, they could go till tomorrow. But back to the action. Gordon Ryan versus Pedro Mourinho. And Gordon is in just full control right here. Yeah, again, that head and arm control is just so smothering from here. Even if it's not getting blood, it's so impossible, to, so difficult to breathe with the nose and the mouth being both shut off by the chest. Chase, you mentioned it before as well about the smother choke. Is that what we're seeing here? I think that's what we're looking at. Gordon's it's trying to smother him. him. I think specifically, I mean, it's, it's the arms pinching at the neck a little bit, but it's the chest mm -hmm. over the mouth that really, the nose that gets to the finish here. You can see it Pedro. It is suffocating. You yeah. can see, look at that. Pedro is, is now urgently trying to get some space and get some breathing space, such as the pressure that Gordon Ryan is creating through that, just driving his chest down in the face. The thing here is you're going to have to put Pedro to sleep. Like, you know, we, we, for real, like, I think we can see that. You're, you're going to have to put him to sleep if you're just trying to suffocate him. So it is a great display of the jiu-jitsu, though, and of the, of the positional dominance. And it does cause some exposure, right? We just saw Pedro, like, reach straight up to the chest just to get some space, so. You can hear Pedro actually exerting himself from underneath the bottom and trying to, to bridge and to buck and to make some space. Just that constant pressure from Gordon Ryan. He said Peter just took out his mouth guard. So he can breathe better. Yeah. Yeah, he's actually thrown the mouth guard away. Yeah, there's, there's that moment, isn't it? It's, it's almost like drowning. It's, almost, it's that moment of brief Especially moment of panic. With the, the rash crazy. guard. Yeah, the, I was going to say the rash guard It's like wet. waterboarding. It's like, it's like waterboarding. waterboarding. Yeah. You literally got a wet rash guard in your face and a... 220 plus man driving his weight down through that. You're unable to breathe. I think I'd panic too in that position. <laughs> uh, awful. I mean, amazing jujitsu, but awful situation. <laughs> yeah. um, it is interesting to me that he's not really trying to go over the far, go under the other arm like Marigali was earlier. He's just keeping the single, but now transitions to the back and has Pedro totally flattened here on his stomach. Oh. Gordon's talking to his corner, shaking his head no. He's cooking him from this position. He's well, like, cooking him from this position. Well, like I was saying in the in the pre-show, whatever Gordon wrote in that envelope, we're not going to see him go for some random submission. He right. wants whatever he wrote. No, whatever it's going to be calculated. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be cooking. I think that's might have had. I could be wrong. Might be some reason why he's saying shaking oh, his head no. Oh, that is awful. That's nice painful. power half yes. here. Now he really he he showed the effectiveness of that so well over these last couple of years. Such a simple technique, but another half here, regular half though, and doing such a good job keeping that right foot tight to the hip. Is Gordon sliding the hand in. I can't quite see from this angle. Looks like he over is over the face. Yeah, it's over the face. 
think oh, he's just trying to get Pedro to turn over. Yeah, he wants Pedro to turn over, but you can see how difficult it has been for Pedro to even come up to his knees at all. As soon as yeah. he's up to his knees, Gordon's flattening him back out. Just utterly dominant in this position. Look at that. Yeah, trying to force that turnover once again. Yeah, look at the flexibility of Pedro here with the shoulders. Yeah. Pedro tries to go belly down again. I mean, is that a better option? I is think Pedro a... knows that Gordon wants to finish from Mount, and he's not going to give it to him. Denying he kind of tipped his hand right away. Yeah, yeah, he's denying the Mount. He knows that he knows that's where he wants to be. Because typically, he would never give up the back for the Mount, right? He would, most people would give up the Mount. Right. Or he feels that he's better able to survive from that back position than he was from that smothering mount pressure. But look at this, Katakatami, yes. possibly the arm triangle choke. Gordon has the, the positioning set, but he, almost like he gave it up there. Here yeah, he had the head underneath the tricep. He removed the head, he's going back to this smothering position again. I think this is what he wants to finish, the waterboarding. It really does seem that Gordon is intent on submitting Pedro Mourinho with this chest we're gonna smother have to from the We're mount. gonna have to get some kind of name for this going waterboarding. I let, that's how it feels, man, I've been there. But again, I am surprised he's not going under both arms. Like, really distinctly different from what Margali was doing earlier. And as I say that, I'm starting to reach back here. Great view here of Gordon Ryan just in complete control from the mount. We passed the halfway mark too, so we're 14 minutes left on the clock. And one thing that I was interested about when we were talking about this match earlier is we know Gordon wants to finish by submission, but we know that he wants to finish by exactly what's in the envelope, right? So right. say we get down to like three or four minutes. What do you guys think? Is he going to just get whatever he can get? Or is he going to stay insistent and risk not getting a submission? Because Pedro is a hard person to submit as we're seeing. Yes, he is. You know, the mount is one of those positions in jujitsu that I feel kind of went out of fashion for a while there. And it should never have gone out of fashion because it is one of the the, just the best, the tried and tested positions, the most dominant position you can get in jiu-jitsu along with the back control. And I like the fact that Gordon has been a real driving force in, in bringing the mount back in no-gi grappling. He's shown that there's so many attacks from there. And again, the exertion, the grunt from Pedro Mourinho on bottom. Oh, there's the smother coming again. This is getting tighter. This is getting much tighter. Well, now he has the shoulder fully over the mouth instead of the rash guard in the chest. I mean, you could even hear Pedro's breathing was kind of so mm -hmm. forced at that moment. Yeah, he got a little more space there for a moment to recover, and Gordon puts himself back in half guard again. So now Gordon kind of giving up the mount position going into this knee shield. Oh, what is this? I mean, what are Pedro's options from here, right? It's like, you want space or you want closeness with Gordon? <laughs> Which one do you choose? I would definitely try and get out from underneath the bottom. That's, uh, that would be my preferred choice here, but... Just stand up. <laughs> Just standing. Yeah. That's simple, yeah. My favorite corner advice, especially at children's wrestling tournaments. <laughs> Just get up. Don't let them take you down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, big arm across the uh, the head, or sorry, the shoulder across the body. Pressure back into the mount again. And oh, again, looking. Posture as well. Yeah, again, looking for that same head and arm control. Rubbing his head. Now he has his forearms locked together like an extended butterfly grip here. Starting to dance a little bit. Man, <laughs> Gordon is singing along to the music that's playing in the background here. That's how, that's how comfortable he is. 19 minutes into a 30 minute match and he's singing along to the soundtrack. And again, dropping that chest down onto Pedro, through Pedro Mourinho's 
face and into the mat. And we're not seeing a squeeze. Like, this is not a big, like, let me just squeeze until you tap. This is slow and deliberate. You know what? I'm just, I'm just dreading going into the gym next week because imagine how many people are going to be trying this. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll be watching Gordon Ryan. They'll be like, oh, yeah, that looks a pretty good way to try to tap somebody out. I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that too. <laughs> yep, absolutely. <laughs> Wow, it just hit 115 minutes over there with Isaac Michelle and Kyle Chambers backstage still going in that no time limit match. They will go until there is a submission. And Isaac's on the back again, but I do wonder how his arm is feeling after that. Mm, I had the same thought. As we come back to the action here, Gordon Ryan versus Pedro Mourinho. Yeah, no surprise, the judges favor. Don't know Gordon if we needed Ryan. that one. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty <laughs> clear for everybody oh, watching at this point. Another big half. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like the halves and the power halves here. I mean, how often do you see a match? Oh, that's a strong commitment to that one. How often do you see a match where one grappler can just physically dominate the other with zero, zero chance of, of giving up the position? Like, Pedro has not been able to effect one escape. The only times that he's enjoyed a brief respite is when Gordon Ryan is elected to move into half guard or reset the position. He is in complete control. And it hasn't been for just the last minute or two. It's been for about 15 minutes. Got to give credit to Pedro's mental toughness here, though. This is definitely enough to break many athletes and he's hung in there throughout all of it yeah, yeah i think a large percentage of high level people would be having tapped a while back oh yeah uh, or I just giving up the mount and hope for the submission right a lot of lesser grapplers definitely would have just given up and just succumbed to that tremendous pressure that gordon ryan is able to generate from the mount position. there he is okay back to a guard is pedro and don't forget, I mean, while we're not seeing too much of it now, Pedro does have, we don't see it very often, but he does have a good guard. I mean, he's, he's heel hooked Roberto Jimenez. He's gotten right. some leg lock victories. So uh, don't want to discredit the, the passing prowess of Gordon here because. Well, the thing is, though, he's framing hard, but look at that. Gordon Ryan literally needs like about 20 seconds, and he's straight back into this utterly dominant position right here. Another big half. Just under eight minutes left on the clock here. And again, I'm so curious. If Gordon doesn't get what he wants, what is gonna happen at the two or three minute mark? Is he gonna switch? Is he gonna stay? Good question. Or is he gonna turn up the heat in the same position maybe? Now we see this knee coming across the bicep a little bit different, pinning the arm down here. Now this is looking a little more like an arm triangle again, not under the chin, but it's a little less of a smother and more of maybe uh, some pressure onto the crud arteries. Quick switch to S mount here from Gordon. Again, we see a lot of that, uh, his shin staying really tight to the spine so he can kind of transition between the mount and the back. We've been talking a little bit about that this evening. Isaac Michelle is using the same kind of motions to maintain upper body control. And again, just hell bent on this suffocation. And I think as the 30 minutes run down, the rash guard is more and more full of water. Yeah. <laughs> it's worse and worse. It's, not, it's not actually water though, is it, Kendall? drinking some sweat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, are drink we are probably at the swallowing moment here. <laughs> I remember there was a famous story of an uh, MMA fighter, Frank Shamrock, in the late 90s, that he was so tired midway through a fight that he licked no. the sweat off his own arm <laughs> for a drink oh, mid-fight. Yeah. No. Oh, look at this now. You see more pressure there from Gordon, the top position. This is a great view, really, of just the, the 
again, that dominance. I'm telling you, man, I don't, I don't think Pedro's going to tap to a suffocation. I think it's going to have to be a choke a little more. Like no, what there we're is a now. choke now. We're actually yeah. seeing more of a choke kind of pressure being applied. We need a close-up view of that because the arm triangle view, it's really, you can see it. There, Gordon is tr getting tighter and tighter. Yeah, now we're seeing more of a blood choke rather than a suffocation, which I think you have to with Pedro. Pedro, I don't, I just don't see him going to be uh, tapping to a suffocation. Yeah. But now we see another look at Isaac and Kyle Chambers. 120 on the left minutes side. running wow. over there while they're still going. Let's bring it back to Gordon versus uh, Pedro Mourinho because that uh, that pressure really deserves a closer look. I like the way that uh, with five minutes left in this match now, Gordon is. I don't know, it just seems like he's getting a little more urgent in, uh, not urgent, he never rushes. But there seems to be a little more intention, let's say, in his attacks now. And there, oh, switches it up here. I think he's surprised Pedro hasn't tapped yet. All right, time. Stop Why else would he be taking the back, right? He's switching right. directions. I think you were right. Uh, he, he saw the time, said, all right, time to switch it up. He'll be unsatisfied without some kind of finish. Oh, he absolutely wants the finish, that's for sure. And this Wait. back control. Let's see him put that straight jacket system to work immediately. He's got those long legs and has straight away locked on the body triangle. Yeah, it'll be interesting to ask later on if there was a plan like, hey, if this doesn't work at the five minute mark, are we shifting or what are we going to do about that? Because there definitely was a big shift that just happened. You can see Pedro's face is definitely roughed up a little bit from all of those exchanges. Oh, the choke's on. There it is. It's underneath the neck. I think Pedro may go out. Stop. Oh, he, he did tap with almost four minutes remaining in the match. Four minutes, one second remaining. Gordon Ryan gets the tap. 25 minutes, 59 seconds. Utterly dominant performance from the king <coughs> so one-sided how on earth do you take a world-class grappler like Pedro Mourinho and make him look 